take some time off. There's just about a second differential, Gary. So, fittingly, the seniors on the floor at the end of the game, and Kirby Fieldhouse rises in appreciation. Brown with 13, Abdullah 18, Bentley 13, Detmer 11, Abdullah with 13 rebounds. The Leopards will go to six and six. They'll be tied for third place in the Patriot League. They beat Lehigh today by a 78 to 60 score. When we come back, I will chat with Fran O'Hanlon and our Pepsi player of the game, Ted Detmer. So Mr. Chan, you want to make a sequel with my client Diet Pepsi? Lots of action, lots of stunt. As always, we're going to need a stunt double. No problem. We've got company. Stunt double. Action. See ya. Oh, that's going to hurt. Kirby Sports Center is the place to be this winter. Grab yourself a family four-pack for any remaining Lafayette men's or women's home basketball game. Four seats, four hot dogs, and four sodas for just 20 bucks. There's no place like home with the family four-pack and Lafayette Leopards basketball. The excitement is back at Kirby. What a senior day it has been at half court with uh, one of the gang leaders is uh, Gary Lawback. I believe he has Ted Detmer with him. Gary? Welcome back. I'm at courtside with our Pepsi player of the game, kind of a representative of all the seniors that uh, played here today. Teddy, you just had as good a Ted Detmer game as you can have. Steals, block shots, layups, 11 points, rebounds. You had to feel pretty good about doing it against Lehigh. Absolutely. It was great to come out here on Senior Day and, uh, you know, give our fans something to cheer about. I'm so proud of all our guys, our seniors especially, stepped up when they had to. We needed a win today. We came out and took it from them. The win was very important. You're now tied for third place. You want, how desperately do you want that home game in the tournament? Well, as you can see, I mean, they really come out and support us when you, when you, when you show some success. So, uh, yeah, we need this home game. If we want to take a run at this, we, we want to be at home. Can you talk a little bit about what it means to play four years here at Lafayette College? Uh, Coach O'Hanlon has such a demanding program, and, uh, you know, that's an accomplishment in itself. But, you know, our guys have been through some tough times, but, you know, nobody bailed on, the, on each other, and it's really something to be proud of. How tight are these uh, five seniors with one another? It's incredible. Uh, you know, I, I like, you know, we're all one and the same practically you know we're from different backgrounds but we mesh so well and uh i wouldn't ask for you know any other guys to do it with yeah i like the fact too that even though you guys were up by 21 this crowd wasn't going anywhere they were savoring the win over leon that's right you got to take these when you can get them so we you know we appreciate the support ted it's been a pleasure for four years but i hope to see you one more time here in the tournament game ted detmer is our pepsi player of the game turn our attention to fran o'hanlon fran it's always satisfying to win a patriot league game but maybe a little more so to beat lehigh but well, we needed a win no matter what there, Gary. So, I mean, we'll, we'll take it. It's, it's always nice. It's our rival, and uh, they got us over there, and, and we were fortunate enough to get them here. And, um, but as I said, I think more than anything, we, we could have really used a win. We've had some very difficult losses. Uh, last win notwithstanding, we uh, played great, and we just lost it at the end. And uh, for these kids to bounce back the way they did with three heartbreakers um, the way they, last three games, it says a lot about their, their character. Great atmosphere here, too, today. I said to Teddy, it was nice to see nobody wanted to go home. They were savoring uh, today's victory. Fran, you out-rebounded Lehigh. We didn't think that maybe would be possible. Uh, you out-hustled them, got off to a rather rough start. But once you got it going, they just never stopped going. Yeah, and we did. We got off to a tough start. And in the beginning, I wasn't sure what, were, what was going to happen. Uh, our game plan was not to get off to a rough start. But it seems that's the way we've played against Lehigh the last few, uh, few times we've played them. Uh, but we hung tough. We got back in the game and, uh, you know, took a 10-point lead at half. And, uh, you know, you thought they were going to make a run. They did make a couple runs, but I thought we, we played terrific to start the second half also. Fran, you got at least three more basketball games with these seniors. Uh, they have 
absolutely giving you four years of great effort, great work ethic. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the five guys that are finished playing at Kirby? We hope not. We hope you get one more back here. Well, they really stuck together. I mean, there was some some tough times for them uh, over the last few years, but uh, you know, I really I really like this group. Not that I don't like any group, but they they have a special uh, meaning for me uh, as far as uh, they they've just hung tough. Uh, they're always at practice. I mean, they're they're warriors. I mean, for the most part, they got tremendous heart and they've done a great job of leading this team coming into this season. I didn't know we we're going to win 15 games. I'm hoping it's going to be more. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know. It's a real credit to the leadership that the seniors supplied, Paul Cummins and Matt Bentley and Bilal Abdullah and Ted Detmer and Ever Schmidt. Um, I'm going to miss them greatly. Fran, you got two more games on the road, Army and American. You get a sense that you almost have to win at least one of those basketball games. It's going to be tough, though. It's tough playing on the road in the Patriot League. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, uh, and for, you know, we're going to say it all the time, it's just one at a time. We just think about Army right now and then go from there. How about thinking about Lehigh right now? That's a good win this afternoon. Thanks. Guys. Congratulations to Fran O'Hanlon. I'll send it back over to John. John will show you the highlights from today's win over Lehigh. Thanks, Gary. You're right. It's a 78-60, so there are plenty of highlights. And let's focus, if we will, uh, see these highlights on the seniors. It was a day for the seniors. It was Ted Detmer on the inside missing that one, but his classmate, Everett Schmidt, following it up. The tempo was set early and often on the inside, and that's where Lafayette made its mark. Blala Abdullah then steps out characteristically beyond the three-point line. Once the inside game got established, Gary, it was all about the Lafayette three-point shooters going to work. Ted Detmer showing his agility, getting to the rim. Then again, Ted Detmer doing it at the defensive end. We talked about just how he filled up a stat sheet today with block shots, taking charges, with steals. On the inside, it was Matt Betley, the grinder, Coach O'Hanlon calls him. Inside, outside, he gets into the act from long range. Jeff Carey, inside out, another senior, Paul Cummins, knocking down his long range three, getting into the act. What a great day for the seniors, Gary. It's all the more sweeter that they did it against their arch rival. No question about it, John. As uh, the Lehigh points today, they had 60 of them. They came on 20 field goals. They shot 36% from the field, 3 for 16 in three point shots, 17 for 21 from the foul line. They were led today by Byron White, Brian White with 18 points in the basketball game. For Lafayette, their 78 points came on 26 field goals. They shot 50% from the field. They were 18 for 29 from the foul line, and they had eight triples in the basketball game. Today they had four guys in double figures, 18 for Abdullah, 13 for Brown, 13 for Bentley, and 11 for Ted Detmer. The seniors certainly go out of Kirby today in style, but one seems to feel that they'll be back in Kirby uh, probably a week and a half from uh, today to take on somebody in that first round of the Patriot League tournament. There you have it. Final score, Lafayette 78, Lehigh 60. Lehigh goes to 12 and 14, 5 and 7 in the league. Lafayette 15 and 12. They are 6 and 6 in the Patriot League, tied for third place now with Bucknell. My thanks to Dan Mounty, John Leone, the RCN television team headed up today by Rick Gijo, and to all of you who have watched this today on the Lafayette Sports Network. A reminder, we'll be back next Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. Lafayette women will take on Army. We'll be there for that one. So for all of us, thanks so much for spending time with the Lafayette Sports Network. I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.